issued an order stopping the Candlestick House of Assembly investigating the bribery allegations against the governor, Abdullah Ganduje, an alleged involvement of the Kano gov governor in an exchange of money for contract scenario as published by the Daily Nigerian News outlet has gone viral. The House of Assembly in Kano State has set up a committee to investigate the matter. The publisher of the Daily Nigerian, Mr. Jafar Jafar, has been asked to face the committee also, but the court has asked that process to be stopped. Well, and to the matter involving the Social Democratic Party, a presidential aspirant of the party, and a former Minister of Information, Professor Jerry Ghana, has approached an FCT High Court in the Maitama area of Abuja, asking it to nullify the emergence of Mr. Donald Duke as a presidential candidate of the party on the grounds that the process that produced the party's flag bearer violated the constitution of the SDP. Mr. Duke, a former governor of Cross River State, who polled 812 votes, defeated his closest rival, Professor Ghana, who polled 611 votes at the party's national convention held at the old parade ground in Abuja on the 7th of October. In the suit, Professor Ghana claims that the convention of the party, which ushered in Duke as the presidential candidate of the party, was illegal and flawed. He added that in the party's constitution as provided under section 15 subsection 3 it was stipulated that the party will respect the principle of rotation and zoning because it is important to building up of the federal republic of nigeria he adds that the provision specifies that the position of the national chairman of the sdp cannot come from the same part of nigeria and to our major topic of the day everyone so there have been a series of allegations of irregularities and discrepancies in the candidates' list of the APC. Some of the governors of the party have openly accused the party chairman, Adams of Shumali, and the talks and plans to remove him has also been a matter of public debate today. Some Ogun aspirants are alleging that their names were removed from the list submitted to INEC. This crisis is not limited to Ogun State. You can also see in Delta State, in Edo State, Imo State, Ogun State, River State, Zamfara, and several other states. Issues have come up again and again over the conduct of the primaries. Tonight, a member of the Edo State House of Assembly joins us on the program. He has claimed that he has evidence of irregularities. So let me introduce my panel tonight on the program. Honorable Damian Lawani, a member of the Edo State House of Assembly, joins us from our Benin studio. And from our Abuja studio, Mr. Bankole Oluajana is the APC's National Vice Chairman, South West. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Let me perhaps begin with you, Honorable Lawani. What are your grievances? We've heard from some uh, members of the APC about allegations of removal, substitution of their names. For your own case, what exactly is the problem? Thank you, Shil. I My case is not different from what others are complaining about. I am also um, wrongfully substituted and... Um, that is my major complaint. And again, there were issues that followed the uh, wrongful substitution, and the party has uh, uh, paid deaf ears to addressing those issues. And I think it's good that the party should address them so that we can move forward. How, how did you know that your name had been wrongfully substituted? Because INEC has not, to, to my understanding, INEC has not released yet the names of governorship candidates and that of the House of Assembly. We know the names of the presidential candidate and that of the National Assembly. How did you know? I, I'm very much aware that names have been sent to INEC and from CO1 and CO2 were given for the, as the candidate to fill. And none has been given to me. And there is likelihood that the, uh, the, my, my opponent has been given as claimed because he told people that he has filled the form and he has submitted. Do you so, have evidence to these claims in the first place? Did you win the election, the primaries? Yes. And do you have evidence of this? Yes, I, 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 I won the primaries. And primaries were conducted 
My major worry still is this. The person in question who I can say um, I'm not alleging now, who said his name has been sent to INEC, claimed that there was no primaries. So on which primaries, which resort was his name now sent to INEC? That is my query. And I believe you said there was no primary. Like the party chairman said, he said, haven't reviewed the matter that led to the victory of Honorable Lawani, that the National Working Committee obtained my victory and gave it to one, the said Ahmed. My worry is this. First, the said Ahmed said there was no primaries. I said there was primaries. I won. And I have evidence of the queue. I have evidence of the county that primaries took place, and I defeated him. Now he said there was no primary. So on what premise are you making him the candidate? Okay, <laughs> Honorable Lawani, just uh, uh, hold on. Let me go to Abuja studio uh, with uh, uh, um, Mr. Oluwajano. He's uh, a member of the APC uh, national leadership. How does this come to you? There's been a lot of... Uh, Christ for members of your party alleging that there's been discrepancies in the way manner names are being substituted or uh, submitted to INEC. What exactly is happening in your party, especially at the national level, when members are alleging uh, this sort of uh, claims? Chill. Good evening. Um, let me start by saying that we cannot pretend that there are no challenges or allegations and counter allegations as regards the recently concluded primary elections. I must add that, of course, that was quite expected considering the fact that the APC is a very strong party, is a very big party, and the management of conflict is the major assignment in administration of political parties. I won't say that. I would quickly also like to point out that I'm National Vice Chairman Southwest, and whatever I'm going to say is limited to the Southwest, as I have been able to address the specific cases that came up in the Southwest. Um, I want to say that majority of the cases in the Southwest have been dealt with, except for Ogu State, which is still being addressed. I would like to say that all these matters are being addressed within the party at the NWC level, at the level of the leadership of the party. And one assurance I can give is that these matters will be amicably resolved at the end of the day. All right. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 Mr. Oluwajano, a big question is that how will someone who won an election uh, will have his name substituted and not someone who has not won an election, be given to a name being given to INEC. Those are some of the worries and uh, the question some members of your party cannot really wrap their heads around. Those are the allegations they are uh, leveling against your, the leadership of your party. Um, she, I, I, I was trying to make a point that for me, I focus on the Southwest. And I would like to say that... Um, the appeal that was set up has largely dealt with most of those cases. I must still acknowledge that I see other matters that are yet to be resolved. In the majority of the states, for instance, in the Southwest, um, Ekiti State, Oshun State, Lagos State, on those states, as, as particularly as it concerns the State Assembly, and um, uh, which other state now? Ogun State, yes, I had the, the news item just before I came on the air, and I know that all these matters are being specifically addressed. At the end of the day, they will be resolved. As, to the, as regards the allegation, it's difficult for me to stay here and talk about this being substituted because right. it's not within the preview of my position as National Vice Chairman Southwest. I believe that the legal advisor, the party chairman, the, the and I organize the secretary, maybe if I had to be able to address that. All right. I want to say that... Sorry, uh, we, we, I need to pause you for a moment because we need to take a break. When we come back, we dig deeper into this matter. We will hear from other parties in this matter. There is a legal case in Delta State. In fact, 
a case of contempt of court. Well, we'll hear about that in a moment, everyone. Join us again.